Welcome to 2021's Tales and Tales Summer Reading Adventure. I'm Catherine, and I'm so excited to share author and illustrator Ed Emberley's way to draw animals with you today. This is part four of our eight-part video series on how to draw animals. Today we'll learn how to draw an owl, a wise owl, a bat, a horse, and a unicorn. When I was a child, I learned to draw animals using this exact book. I've had it for a long, long time. The High Plains Library District has newer copies of this book and some of Ed Emberley's other drawing books for you to check out and bring home. Remember from our first video, to draw all of the animals, you'll just need to know how to make these simple shapes, numbers, letters, and things. All right, grab your paper and some crayons or colored pencils and let's get started. Let's draw an owl. I'm using orange, black, and green, but you can use any colors you'd like. We'll be using the letters D and C, circles, dots, a triangle, lines, bird tracks, and the number three. Start by drawing the letter D. This will be the owl's body. Make the belly of the D a little bit taller than normal. Then rotate your paper. Add two large circles for the owl's eyes. Add two smaller circles on either side of the owl's body. These will be the wings. Color in the wings and the owl's body. Just be sure to leave the circles blank. I'll use the black crayon to make the owl's beak by drawing an upside down triangle and color it in. Make the letter C here and a backward C here. Add two lines for the owl's legs. Rotate your owl until it's upside down and add a bird track on each leg for the owl's feet. Rotate your page again and make three number threes for the owl's feathers. Using the green crayon, I'll make two smaller circles and color them in for the owl's eyes. Shall we make our owl wise? Let's give him a graduate's cap known as a mortarboard. You'll be adding a D, a line, a small circle, and a bird track to make it. Rotate your owl until it's sideways. Use a black crayon to trace the letter D on top of the owl's head. Color it in. Add a line on top of the belly of the D. Turn your owl upside down. Add a small circle on top of the left side of the line. Add a bird track. There's the tassel. What a wise old owl. Let's make a bat. I'm using black and green crayons for my bat. We'll be using the letters D, M, V, bird tracks, small dots, and a line to make our bat. I'll rotate my paper and I'll use the green crayon to make two D's, one above the other, or when I rotate my paper back, they should be side by side. These will be the bat's eyes. Use your black crayon and draw the letter M, sort of on a slight angle like this, and another M here. Start at the end of the M on the left and make another M 
above the bat's eyes and join it with another M to join it with the M below the bat's eyes. Rotate your bat upside down and draw a V in the space. Rotate your bat again. Add a bird track to each outer point. Rotate your page and add a line here. Now you're ready to color in your bat. Add two small dots to the bat's eyes. It looks great. Are you ready to make a horse? I'll be using a brown crayon and a black crayon. We'll make the horse out of a rectangle, triangles, curved lines, and a straight line, the letters U and S, and a small dot. Start by making a rectangle and coloring it in. Add a triangle and color it in. This will be the horse's neck. Rotate your page and add a smaller triangle here for the horse's head. Add two curved lines at the back and two at the front so it looks like your horse is running. Add two small triangles for the horse's ears and color them in. Add the letter U below the triangle like this and color it in. Use your black crayon to add a small dot for the eye and a small line for the mouth. Let's use the letter S to make the horse's tail and mane. You can add as many as you like. The letter S for the horse's tail should just be a little bit longer than the ones you use for the mane. The unicorn is very similar. The only difference is that you'll turn one of the horse's ears into a longer unicorn horn. I'll be using pink, purple, and black for my unicorn. You'll draw your rectangle, add the triangles for the neck and head, curved lines for the legs, a small triangle for one ear, and a long, skinny triangle for the unicorn horn. Add the unicorn's eye, the letter U under the head, the small line for the mouth, and repeat the letter S for the unicorn's tail and mane.
Now that's a magical unicorn. I hope you had fun today drawing some owls, a bat, a horse, and a unicorn. Thank you, Ed Emberly, for teaching us how to draw animals. See you next time for part five of this How to Draw Animals video series. Bye!